This week, a family business under financial pressure. I want mum out. It's driving me around the bend. Depressing, but cheap. Forces Alex into a corner. I just wonder how it all got to be my fault. It might be just easier to say, OK, well, let's just sell it. Gloucester. One of England's historic cities. And on its fringes in the suburb of Quedgley, one woman has done her bit to preserve the past. Hello, little, Hello, little thatch. Can I help? And it's not working. The Little Thatch is a 14th century inn. For more than 40 years, it's been in the hands of 71-year-old Jackie McDougall. It was a nightclub when we first came here, and it was an exclusive nightclub. Our membership was 10 guineas a year, for goodness sake. A pint of beer was two and sixpence. <laughs> you know, a pint of beer now at three pounds something. I think, my God, it all seems so expensive to me. Sometimes I'm quite embarrassed to ask people for money. In its glory days, the little thatch was the talk of the town. But daughter Beth is worried that Jackie and the 23-bedroom hotel and restaurant may have fallen behind the times. I think Mum's stuck in the 1970s a little bit. The number you have dialed... You can't send a text message? Yes, I can. Only in capitals? I've forgotten what the password is, but I think it's... You're not very good on email. So this is the um, grand floor of the original hotel. She likes these colours. I was very big on colours, Mum. Beiges and browns, reds. I liked the old country kind of look to the rooms. It's functional, but I just think it's too basic. Four cups, one spoon. People pinch them. Cheap biscuits. <laughs> I think the market's moved on. I don't fancy these fancy things myself, you know? Like carrot and coriander. <laughs> <laughs> But despite the little thatch turning a profit, the business is failing to make enough to satisfy the bank. The big problem I've got now is, of course, is I'm 71 and I have got debts. The bank, for my age, they're not prepared to give me a longer mortgage. I've been here since the age of three. These are old pictures as well. I've got to look like this, of course, to see nowadays. It was quite a, a place to grow up. You know, we had the Wurzels here and Ackerbilk. So there's, it's got a lot of good memories. The bank has given Jackie 12 months to increase her turnover before they call in her debts. Well, something's gone wrong, isn't it? I would hate to have to sell it because the bank says I've got to or because I can't carry on anymore. Um, it's one thing to choose to sell, another thing to be forced, isn't it? You know. I've put, like, 40-odd um, years into it. I would like to think it was carried on. I would like to see it still in the family. Beth recently sold her property company to help her mum run the hotel. Despite a lack of experience, she's agreed to take a more hands-on role and shoulder the financial burden, but only if she can modernise. At the moment, things have to change. So much of the fact is Mum's personal taste. I quite like as they are, and I like the decoration, I like the colours, I like, I like everything about it. I don't want to run it as you run it. I just think it's old-fashioned. It just doesn't run to its full potential. With the bank on their backs, and disagreements on which way the business should go. It's not about sides. It's just uh, just changing Mum's mindset. She's a bit set in her ways. Beth has called in hotel inspector Alex Polizzi for help. I'm hoping that she's going to agree with me. 
rather than what Beth thinks we should do first. Because I do think I'm right, really. <laughs> Family relationships are complicated by their very nature and throwing business into the mix can only complicate things more. Here we go, little thatch in. So there's four different signs out there. All in different fonts, all in different styles, all in different colours. Clearly, consistency is uh, going to be an issue. <laughs> Bit nerve-wracking, really. Nobody really likes criticism, do they? You know, and I'm, I'm a bit old, older in the dust to take it too well, I think. <laughs> really. I'm always amazed when I come along. You've got this clearly historic building, and you have luminous orange signs. And then traditional Sunday lunch is now being served between 12, 30 and 2. And so it's a very boarding house, isn't it? And then the slightly odd tone of how about a bit on the side, or uh -huh, uh -huh. And by that, I mean side orders of things like chips and garlic bread. So clearly, they're not going majorly on food here. Um, and I think that's a shame. Hi. Jackie, Hello. I'm Alex. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. Very, very nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you for inviting me. So, how well do you do here? Well, um, I do well enough for me. Yeah. You know, uh, but wanting Betty to take over from me, and we don't do well enough, and we also are not quite sure... Well, I'm quite sure, <laughs> But we don't agree on which way we should go forward. I don't know why that would should surprise you. <laughs> I mean, your mother and daughter, you know, different eras of business practices. Yeah, so I she, she says I'm a dinosaur. Can start back, Bob. <laughs> Thank you. It's a bit of a warren. It really is, darling. Nearly there. Bedrooms at the Little Thatch are priced at sixty pounds per night. Their core business during the week caters mostly to contract workers. Great. Who's responsible for the decor? Mum. Is it your taste? No. OK. So my immediate impression is just... It's like a room from another era. This colour is just awful. Bathroom with a carpet in it. Never my favourite thing to see. Men tend to dribble when they tinkle. To naked eye, it looks all right. I wouldn't like to do microscopic examination, and I'm unlikely to lick the carpet either, so <laughs> we're OK. Depressing, but cheap. <laughs> well, let me give you the shock announcement that I hate this even more than the terracotta room. I should be ever so disappointed if she says the colour's wrong. I really, really will. Just this combination of colours might work in Thailand, but where would you see this? In England, particularly in Gloucester. All in all, I think this is just somewhere to stay because it's cheap and it's probably very practical. But, you know, you wouldn't be particularly happy if a boyfriend brought you here for a weekend away. So I've only just met Beth and Jackie. Looking at Beth's facial expressions and actually, I think she's feeling quite daunted. I think it's very hard to step between mother and daughter because the webs of loyalties and resentments are so complicated. You trespass upon them at your peril. But if I have to, to try and help them move the business forward, then I will. May I join you? Oh, please do. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Cheers. So, how have you found it? It's a bit tired. It's kind of from a bygone era, darling. Wow. Well, I did... In actual fact, I deliberately picked something that was a little bit old-fashioned because I thought it went with this. I think old-fashioned is one thing, traditional is something else. Yeah, that's what I meant was traditional. Don't you find that traditional? I find it old-fashioned.
your income derives how much from the rooms and how much from food and how much from the bar? Half hotel and the other, about the same quarter quarter, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah, for the, for, the food, for the food and the drinks. So when are you busy for food? That is, that's hit and miss. This place is either all or nothing. You can be dead one night and jam, jam pack the next. Well, yeah. We're not jam packed. Even the busy Saturday was 27 covers. That's not jam packed. And the contractors who come in, do they eat here? Not really, no. Why not? Well, I, I don't know really. Well, haven't you asked them? <laughs> no, I haven't. OK. Uh, let me sleep on it yeah. and I'll see okay. you both tomorrow. Is that OK? Yes, that's fine, yeah. I think tomorrow will be a, an interesting day. It all got to stay the same. <laughs> Above and beyond the kind of dotting and the laughter and the affection, I'm sure emotions are running quite high. You know, this... <laughs> Jackie's passionate about this place. I think I rather wonder whether Beth wishes she could just walk away. It all kind of rests on her shoulders, which is a very uncomfortable place to be. I mean, I think what she must be wondering is, can she do it? The Little Thatch in Gloucester, owned by Jackie McDougall, is facing an uncertain future. The bank will not allow me to stay here unless somebody else takes over because they are not prepared to allow me uh, a mortgage. Daughter Beth has volunteered to help out, but only if she can make changes. What would you say if I was to say, why don't you go at market? I found when we did deal with people at market, they tend to be a bit snooty. I don't agree. I've got my idea of how we should go forward, and I don't think it corresponds exactly with Beth. The hotel's restaurant was once a thriving business but now struggles to pull in the punters. Not sure about this kind of stuff. I hate those old-fashioned tablecloths. I think they're awful, and they make the whole place look really cheap. This is one of the more old-fashioned breakfasts that I've ever seen. And those croissants look like they've been there a long time, possibly since Henry VIII's time. <laughs> I mean, someone sat on these. Here we are. Lovely. Breakfast of champions. Thanks, love. But at least the food is up to scratch. Perfect. It's really key that I try and winkle out from both Jackie and Beth where they agree and try and go forward on that basis. So how do you think that the place should change? What's your vision for the place? Um, it was never a life goal to come back and work here. Mm. Um, so I, I will either come back and work here if it runs how I want it to run as a business, mm. or it has to go. I want Mum out. Basically, you want control. Actually, it's not that I particularly want it, but the only way we're going to get through this year is if I have it. We need a proper management structure. Uh, I actually think we need to increase the hotel prices. And I just think it's old-fashioned. I understand that this is difficult, OK? I understand this is really difficult, because also you love your mum and you don't want her to be, you know, it, it isn't, I understand it's not conflict. Sorry. I'm not quite sure if I can persuade her, but I'll do my best. This is a project that's destined to fail unless Jackie just lets her get on with it. And I think unless we agree that much, then I might as well not bother with the next steps. I do think it's quite a lot to ask of Beth to kind of come in here and take over this problem in inverted commas. Yeah. There's success. Stop fiddling with that. But you're asking her to take over something to basically save your bacon. She, as a result, is coming in and being 
are having quite a lot of responsibility on her. And to give her the responsibility, you have to give her a head. You're just going to have to swallow that and let her get on with it. I've worked with my mum. You know, I do understand. It's a kind of complicated thing, isn't it? For the next month until I come back again, Beth is in charge. For a month, you're not allowed to say no. Yeah, okay then. You have to just bite your lip. Yes? Okay. What do you think, Beth? Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, give it a go. So do you think this isn't going to work? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. I think it's dealing with people who are so set in their ways that they won't let go. That's the problem. And you, you won't let go. Uh, and you give you a chance, Beth. You don't know. The okay. Time, don't we? Yeah. You know, Dal, we've got to make it easy for her. Yes. OK? Yes. At the end of this month, we need Beth to think that she wants to stay here and to take this on. I'd like you to be a bit happier about being here. Hmm? Well, if you're really unhappy, Beth, we'll, we'll just pack it in now, really. It's, it's just an immense task. It is an immense... To get it into what I think it should be. I agree with you that there should be a better class of room, but not all the rooms. I am suggesting that ultimately you should have a two-tier system of rooms. I'm not saying that this is becoming a boutique hotel. I'm suggesting there's just room for someone who wants to spend a bit more money. I'm going to give you a very nice double bedroom. Hopefully a template mm -hmm. for how to roll out a better class of room within a budget. Mm -hmm. So, if you let me, mm -hmm. I will take on one room and I will make it a better room and bathroom. Your first job is the food and beverage. Mm -hmm. You know, to only get 25% from food and 25% from beverage is a bit sad. Yeah. I think we can do a lot better than that. Mm. And we can do better than that by making sure that we price keenly, that we have many that people like, and we make sure that we tempt people, we reward people for eating in-house. Mm. If the food and beverage side becomes a bit better, it becomes easier to put your prices up in the rooms, even by five pounds. Mm. Because, you know, the advantage is you want to stay here and you want to spend your money because you're getting it, it's a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. You're being very quiet. <laughs> well, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. You've had 40 odd years to do it your way. Let's have a, let's try okay. something else, yeah. just for a month. Yeah? Yep. <sighs> to show Beth and Jackie traditional needn't mean old fashioned. Right, do you want to bring in a big table, you two? Alex sets about tackling the restaurant. With a quick furniture reshuffle. All right, another big one, please. And the removal of the tired looking tablecloths, she's hoping to make the space much more appealing. I think this is interesting just to test the waters. Let's see how well Jackie reacts to this. What's her immediate reaction? Um, well, I don't really like it. When you have just like three, two or three tables taken, it looks, you know, it's a bit... Well, it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation. You mm, have yeah. to have a restaurant that you can fill to then try and fill it. Mm. This has got to be a fairly dramatic change. And this food and beverage operation, we need to try and encourage it to be busier. Yeah. Mm. This is one aspect of it. You need to look at then menus, mm. how you get people through the door, the mm. advertising at the front, mm. all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm only with you for a month. Mm. I'd like to have a blitz technique mm. and try and attack every single aspect of what we think needs improving. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a chance to see whether it works and whether we're along the right lines mm -hmm. or hold up our hands and surrender and go, no. <sighs> Change is always painful. The succession is always hard and the finances are hard. Change has got to happen. You know, nothing's easy. I mean, if it was, everyone would be doing it. I'm a bit worried about um, changes, yes. They now need to buck up and just do it. Mm. 
mum didn't actually change an awful lot after Alex left. Um, although she was keen to let go, day one didn't happen. Well, it's not instinctive for me to step back. I'm having to work at it. I want to be in charge. All right. Okay. Beth has spoken a lot already about Jackie never leaving her comfort zone, which is a little that, and going and seeing what's happening in the rest of the world. What is the current trend? Mum hasn't taken the time out to check and see what the competitors are doing. No, I've never done that. No. I've always been a bit... I, th I think everybody's going to recognise me, you see. Hopefully, this visit to the pub that I've arranged for them will open Jackie's eyes to that. What do you think of this, this space and how it's utilised with the, you know, the informal seating, really? It's a bit like a, a lounge kind of effect, isn't it? Like, you would, in your house, you would have. People that do go out do like these kind of places. Yeah. I wouldn't come here. Beth's made this enormous decision to take on the little thatch, um, but she's going to have to accept it's going to take a lot of patience. Here's the menu. There's not too much on there, is there? I think yeah. we would need more than that on a menu, personally. Well, OK. I think, truly, that Beth still really wants her mother's approval and her affirmation. It's going to be a tricky old road. Because I've thought of doing that kind of thing. I see it. You see how you do with it. I've learned by mistakes over the years, and no doubt you'll do the same thing yourself. Mm. It's driving me around the bend. Actually, that is the thing that's bugging me most. Not having a say at all. Is she going to throw out the baby with the bed linen or whatever they say? I can't remember. The, I can't remember saying. But I'm just thinking, oh God. So keen to push forward with her plan for modernisation. Beth has come up with some new designs for a new look little thatch. It should be quite interesting, Mum's uh, view. <clears throat> Okie dokie, so take a deep breath. Yeah. Number one. It's not that different. Mum, it's the colour. Oh, it's the colour I'm looking at. Well, it's everything, it's a whole, that's the image. So we have a brochure. A sign, a business card, unheaded paper. No, man. Not blue paper. <sighs> My experience, succession is never easy, particularly in a family business, and it's very hard to keep the discussion purely on a business level and not allow personal feelings to hold sway. OK. Should we go for option two? I'm a bit worried about her spending what money I've got on things that I don't think are essential. That's the kind of thing that really worries me. No, I don't like that. No. No. You can't change 40 years of something in what, three weeks. Yeah. <sighs> Alex Polizzi is in Gloucester at the 23-bedroom Little Thatch Inn. The business, run by Mum Jackie... Hello, Little Thatch, can I help? ..and daughter Beth... Good morning, Little Thatch. Uh, when would that be for? Hello. ..needs to change and fast. OK, thank you very much. Bye. Alex left Beth in charge for one month to implement her modernisation plan and left strict instructions for Jackie to take a back seat. I don't want you to interfere, I want you to bite your lip and I want you to let her do what she thinks she needs doing. Alex has agreed to make over one of their bedrooms to demonstrate to Jackie just what the modern day traveller now expects. I think the rooms are really pretty poor. And I think it's very important for me that I win at this battle with Jackie because I think this kind of place is in decline. I really am not at all happy about somebody doing one of my bedrooms without me having any say whatsoever. There needs to be a wholesale effort to stop the decline and reverse it, in fact. Going forward, we've got big decisions to make on doing other bedrooms, OK? But you're going to step back and you're not going to make any decisions regarding that. You're not going to put well, any as input long as, in... as long as it's anything too drastic and I can't foresee real problems, no. Yeah. 
but that's not what at the point though, is it? That's not stepping back. Okay, there we are. So um, Alex tasked me with getting the menu in order and consolidating all of the boards. What I did last night was actually a bit of um, our prices compared to other prices. Well, I've discovered, for instance, our soup is on the menu at £3.75. And actually, if you look at competitors, it's £5.15. Sausages, very popular sausage mash, was £8.95. Competitors are £10.95, £11. Our steaks are on at £11.95. Uh, rump, very popular. We did a lot of them in January. Um, but competitors are charging £16.17.95. Giving it away. I don't think Mum has deliberately gone cheap. I think Mum just doesn't really understand that people are willing to pay this nowadays. I think here you sell everything too cheap and I think you undersell yourselves. We need to lift the profit margins. So I think we ought to be aiming for actually quality. Yeah. At a, you know, a decent price. I'm finding it quite difficult at which line it's interfering and which line it's just, excuse me, but surely I'm allowed to say something. Jackie needs pushing down this path um, because I think, you know, her natural instinct and understandably after 40 years of being here is just as just keep it ticking over. But you know, her income has been in steady decline you know, she has to do something to dramatically reverse the change. There's been a lot of change. New signage has been agreed, going up. Uh, new suppliers, new stockists coming in, new beers, new uniforms. Uh, that's about all. <laughs> Mum's still quite resistant, really. Um, I don't know if she's on board or not, to be honest. I'm admiring the wonderful new signage. This looks kind of current, but classic. Clever. <laughs> Overall, it already looks much more unified. Last so, I'm feeling quite enthusiastic at this point. This is much better. Instead of that enormous, really unappealing menu, she's got the kind of stuff on there that everyone wants from a pub. But also all the signage, all the um, advertising matches, and that's really important because what it does is it looks like a professional operation. I'm really hoping I'm going to go inside and the physical changes that I can see here are going to be reflected emotionally in Jackie and Beth. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. How are you? Okay, thanks. Hello. Hi. Hi. So first of all, the signage looks amazing. Yes. I'm going to use that as an example between the difference between traditional and old-fashioned and classic and bygone era, which mm -hmm. is really a tough one to pull off. Mm -hmm. Really, really well done. I love the colours. I love that green and white. And I saw the menus walking in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good for you. So you've cut it down considerably. Yeah. And I think that's absolutely the right way to go. Well done. How have you two been getting on? Well, we get on all right, don't we, Beth? We get on all right, then, yeah. <coughs> Mainly because I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Mother-daughter relationships. Yeah, joy it is. The it's joy, joy yeah. I know. It's funny. <laughs> Come on, let's go and look at the room. <laughs> Alex wanted to create a modern, superior room to broaden the appeal of the little thatch, one that could raise that all-important extra revenue. Wow. That's a bit of a difference. It is a bit of a difference, yeah. isn't it? It's just so different, actually. I think it's great. I'm sure it will be very nice, because it wouldn't be anything else but. Um, whether I'm going to be happy with it is a different thing altogether. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that! I mean, I didn't ever like the fitted furniture, so the fact that it's all freestanding, I really like, you know? You're not horrified by it? Oh, quick, you know, no. You like it? I like it. They have tried surviving on just their contractors, and it isn't enough business for them. So they have no choice. They have to either upgrade or they have to sell up. 
So I think this is the solution. We have to find out, as Beth knows, that we can charge some money for this. I believe that you can, which is why I've suggested this as an option. I mean, I really think this is what people want. We've all become very, very picky and quite spoiled. Yeah. And that's why so many hoteliers go under, because they don't keep up with the times. Mm. You need to appeal to the modern traveller. You need to kick it up a gear. To help move things up even further, Alex's plan is to put food back at the heart of the business. When Jackie started this place, the Little Thatch was immensely popular. They had a thriving restaurant, and over the years, that's fallen off. And it's essential, if they start making some money, to re-establish themselves in the psyche of the local community. I mean, quite honestly, unless they start making money out of the restaurant, it's going to be quite hard for this place to survive, so they need to make it work. Alex has asked Beth to invite a group of locals to sample the Little Thatch's new food offering. So, you have this menu ready for them, which sounds absolutely lovely. Please choose from honey duck pie, trio of sausages, mm -hmm. tartiflette, yummy, I love tartiflette, faggots. That sounds lovely, darling. Mm -hmm. How many people do you think are going to come? Well, we think about 35. What do we have to do? It's set up. Uh, just move the uh, cutlery around a little bit. OK, I can do that. I'm extremely worried about tonight. I've never yet seen Beth overflow with enthusiasm. There's a year to affect this change, and unless they go at it really all guns blazing, they're just not going to achieve what they need to. I have been working very hard, and I've yeah. spent a lot of hours here. Yeah. It's quite interesting to see the changes, but there's so much that has to be done, in my opinion, that I don't feel we're there yet, and yet it's just so hard. It's such hard work. I don't feel this is my business. I didn't set it up. But I'm doing it for um, Mum, really, ultimately, yeah. Mm, I don't enjoy it. I'm a bit disappointed to hear that she doesn't think she'll ever want to do it. There we go. I feel a bit as if I'm... I've kind of failed a bit, which is silly, really. But I do think, when I see all these things she's doing that I haven't attempted to do over the last two or three years, and I'm thinking, I'm a bit kind of sad about that. And I'm thinking, it's just, you know, I could have done a bit more, really, you know, truthfully. Alex Polizzi is at the Little Thatch in Gloucester, helping daughter Beth modernise her mum's hotel to attract higher paying customers. Beth has been a very, very busy bee and she's got a lot done and uh, actually I'm quite proud of her because I really didn't think she'd be able to get so much done in so short a time. So uh, yeah, she's done a very good job. Alex wants to return the restaurant to the heart of the business to help fund the much needed bedroom renovations. Hopefully they can get the restaurant and bar revived and they start getting some revenue in to spend on the rooms and they can accelerate the renovation process. Lovely, have a table of five for you. Okay. Do you come in? Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely There's so many things that could go wrong tonight. They've got 40 people all sitting down at the same time. Is Beth going to keep her cool? I haven't really seen her with customers yet. And I'd just like to give you the menus for you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. How long are people going to have to wait for meals? Would you like that with uh, homemade chips, mashed potatoes, or new potatoes? It does need a strong hand at the helm. Um, and I think hopefully Beth will be leading from the front because uh, that's what's needed now. I hope this is going to work. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. So, let me find out your comments about your... What did you all eat? I had the and I thought they were very nice indeed. I had the sausages. Good? Lovely. Oh, good. There's nothing worse than a bad sausage. No. <laughs> <laughs> all good? Very yeah, good. Very good. It was nice to have something different, not the run-of-the-mill what you have in the chains. 
I have gone past here before and yeah. not seen yeah. it, but now I would, I would make a trip here specifically to come here now. For Jackie, it's a welcome return to the popular and profitable past. But it's nice to see it, see people enjoying themselves. We used to do dinner dances in here, would you believe? This is a fully sprung floor. But that is the good old days. <laughs> good, good, good old days, yeah. But while the locals are in high spirits, the big question is whether Beth is feeling equally optimistic. I haven't done it for 12 years. Um, it's like falling off a log, isn't it? I don't know how much she's enjoying it, to be honest. And this is a meat and drink of life for me, and um, I'm sorry she doesn't feel the same. I think, obviously, it's a concern going forward. She just won't be able to keep it up. So, you must be feeling quite busy with yourself. Or not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you... <laughs> if you want to no. do that, it's not going to come, it's not, honestly. Um, no, but overall, you're, you're, you're mildly happy. Yeah. Mildly it's, pleased. It's going OK. Yeah. It's going people, are really really oh. Really, oh. people are really happy. Really? People are really happy. No, people are really happy. You can see how I was, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be thinking of them. <laughs> a month later, Beth is still at the little thatch, but is she any happier? At the beginning of the process, I really did feel burdened, quite honestly. But I think, if I look back now to what we have achieved, then I just think, wow, well, it's doable. As a result of this process, really, Mum does trust me. I've got the enthusiasm now. I can see that it can go forward. I can see where Beth is going with it. <clears throat> How do you feel about changes happening? I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll <read> that then. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs>